Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to a brand new video. Today we're going to play The Relax Chamber by Robo SK. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Without further ado, let's jump into the description. Have fun. That's all you're going to give us. Have fun. Okay then. Well, you can see that it's using the um, the white compressed smoke fields, which, um, if I remember rightly, they kind of just block both player and um, objects, right? I think that's how they work. Player, objects, portals, they block everything, basically. Just can't walk through it, can't take anything through it. Yeah, sort of thing. Alright, so, um, how are we going to get started here? Going the only way we can, I guess. It's probably the best way to do things, so. Oh. Oh, yeah, what am I doing? What a dumbass. What a dumbass knock. Seriously. Oh. Alright. Interesting. Interesting use there. So now we can do this. This. And we get the cube out. All right, progress is made. Next up, we need one cube for this, so it makes sense to go this way, I guess. Square, we'll disable Fizzler. We have Deadly Goo. Some Bounce Gel. Okay, this is two blocks as well, right? So, I assume we're going to want to do something like this. And then go through here. We can swap the cubes. Then we can take this one up here. Actually, we don't need to do that. Actually, I don't need to do that anymore. What am I stuck on? Weird. Um, yeah. So now we just do this. Take that through there. And... Best thing to do is probably going to be respawn this cube, right? Because... reason this is on a thing like this is to stop us from being able to use this to jump up. So yeah. Let's um, get ourselves a new companion cube. Though I would say that the computers are probably the wrong way around because normally you would um, normally you would uh, try to keep the companion cube as opposed to we call in a new one. Two seconds guys. Apologies for that, guys. We are back, though, now. Okay. Come here. I want you to fall in the goo. Maybe a little bit cheaty. I don't know. Maybe I should have accepted this fate. A slider cube as well. Slider cube. Right. Light bridge up to here. Press this button. X and square. Okay.
Oh. Telling me I need to get bounce gel here? Is that what you're telling me? I think it may be. Are you also telling me I need to keep momentum through here? That would not be cool. Alright, well. That's a permanent feature now, right? So, we need the light bridge. Hold on. Hold on. Ah, oh, you know what? Let's do it this way. It's easier. Maybe I'm overcomplicating. Slightly. Oh, yeah. No, we're not because we've got about the pain glass. Alright, well I'm guessing then, the other... I just remember there's two signages on the... Um, do free what's the thing Majigi Ujima, watch me, calling me Bob. Um, so maybe what we actually need to do is... This one should be disabled now? Yeah, it is. Alright. So... We'll get some bouncy, bouncy, bouncy over there. Then we can head back over here. And up there. Let's get back up to here. I think there's like a degree of height that I need though for to, to pull this maneuver off. There we go. Alright, the ending is a little bit tedious, having to like juggle your height all the way like along there. But, um, yeah, good reuse of elements, I'd say. Uh, let's say, I think, personally, I'd probably swap the companion cube and the weighted cube around, because normally you would try and maintain the companion cube throughout the, um, the, ch the puzzle as your companion. But, um, yeah, good stuff. Alright, guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe down below. If you've got any match slides to play, please leave them in the comments or head over to my Google form. A link to that's in the description. But until next time, I've been Nock, you've been awesome. See ya.